When you think of tarantulas, do you think the middle of the United States? Well, you should, because they're kind of a tourist attraction. You see, this area is home to the Oklahoma brown tarantula, also known as the Missouri tarantula or the Texas brown tarantula. Everyone wants a piece of this colorful spider, and I'm going to tell you why. They range from Colorado and New Mexico, east to Missouri and Louisiana, and down to the Mexico border. They're a pretty normal tarantula. They're brown. They're not particularly dangerous. Although it would hurt to get bit by one since they can get to over five inches across. Some people say five inches is pretty big. But you see, the thing that makes them interesting is what they do when they start looking for love. Tarantulas. What I'm about to describe is sometimes called the tarantula migration, but they aren't really going anywhere, so it's not really migrating. It is sometimes called a mate creation, which is a fun word, so I'm going to use it. Let me explain to you what these fine, furry arachnids are actually up to. Our lovely brown tarantulas spend most of their life down in a hole, feeling so small. But for the males, that changes when they are somewhere between 6 to 10 years old. From July to October, these newly minted spider men will leave their burrows in search for a mate. Just for reference, the days that they're actually out very little from place to place and from what the weather is doing that year, they usually come out once it gets a little cooler and rainier. The male spiders will start to wander around the countryside, sniffing for a female. Once the male picks up the scent of her pheromones, he'll go to that female's burrow. The male will then do a little dance where he taps on the webs at the entrance of her burrow with his pedipalps. By the way, pedipalps are the shorter legs by their fangs. When the males are ready to mate, they will make little packets of sperm wrapped in web and store them in their pedipalps. Fun! If the male barges into her house without doing the dance, or if his moves are weak, there is a good chance he will be eaten. If she likes what he's putting down, she will come out and welcome him into the den. The male will then take the web full of sperm he prepared earlier and try to put it in the female. If he is successful, she will use that sperm to make a lovely egg sac with as many as 1,500 pre-tarantulas in it. The male will then try to leave as quickly as possible because there is about a 20% chance that she will try to eat him. You'd be hungry too if you're trying to grow 1,500 little ones. The male may then go on to mate with as many as 100 other females during the season. This activity leads to the countryside being filled with a flurry of male tarantulas desperately looking for a hole. This has also led to this mating season becoming a bit of an attraction where people come to witness the Tarantula Rumspringa. La Junta, Colorado even has a tarantula fest with tarantula tours, food, crafts, and even a parade. California also has bronze tarantulas and black tarantulas that engage in a similar practice and have their own festivals. Unfortunately, the male tarantulas only get to enjoy the festivities once. They will die within a few months of mating. The females, on the other hand, can live upwards of 40 years. From what I was reading, we do not know for sure what their max age is, but 30 to 40 years seems pretty normal. If you want some job security on a grant, maybe try to see if you can start a study to raise one from birth to death. Should get you pretty close to retirement. That's all I have for you. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you eat something good.